Hey guys, Small Mighty back here. So, I think another thing that I said was I wanted to talk about mental illness. And mental illness is very real. Mental illness is something that has been haunting me for as long as I can remember. And mental illness, it comes in all kinds of forms. It comes in anger, it comes in anxiety, it comes in depression, it comes in, you know, suicidal thoughts. It comes in so many. The first thing we think that somebody has a mental illness is, oh, jeez, like, ugh. It's a very daunting thing to say to somebody is, oh, you're mentally ill. But you know what? Everybody's mentally ill. <laughs> Everybody's mentally ill. Have you looked at this world? Have you looked at what some of these people think are normal? Everybody is mentally ill. It's not even funny. But <laughs> my story began when I was younger and I started seeking out therapy for a lot of the losses that I had been seeing. And a lot of the things that I had gone through, I started seeking out counseling for those things. But the thing that really, really clicked was in high school and when I just wanted to end my whole life. Everything was no good. Nobody was any good, no matter who I was friends with, no matter who was in my life, no matter who loved me, it didn't matter. I didn't want to live. And I wanted to die every day. I thought about how I could do it, what I could do, who would care, you know? Like, this would be so much easier for me. I wanna do this because I'm in pain. I wanna do this because my life sucks. I wanna do this because this happened and it's not fair and I don't deserve this. Do you hear how many eyes? I do. I hear a lot of eyes. Well, <laughs> thank goodness that's not my mindset anymore. But I put a lot of people through a lot and I put my mother and my grandparents and my friends and my family through so much because I just couldn't help it. I was so angry and I hated life so much and I hated everything about it. I hated everybody around me. I was miserable and I just had this urge to literally end it. I just wanted it done and over with. And so my mom sent me to um, somewhere that I could get some help and Unfortunately, because of the loss that I had had with my child, the doctor said, your daughter is okay, take her home, she's grieving, it's okay. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't okay. I had been going through a lot and I was very good at putting on a face, very good at saying I was great and everything was good and I don't need any help, but you know what? I didn't realize how uncool it was to act like everything was okay until I was an adult. And unfortunately, there's a lot of women, young girls even, that go through this stuff that don't ever say, you know what, I'm not okay. I need some help. I can't handle this. And I just wanted to put it out there that it's cool to say, I can't, more than it is I can, and actually not be able to do what you say you can do. Because in the long run, if you try to please too many people, you're going to let people down. So that's one thing. Mental illness comes in that form as well, which is something that I've recently been dealing with as a people pleaser. Yes to you, yes to you, and yes to you too, right? You just wanna make everybody happy. But unfortunately, we're only one person and we can't do that. So when I feel the need to assert things nowadays, I do it in a very gentle manner, but there was a time when I said yes to everyone and I didn't have the strength or the courage to say no. And everybody would say, you need to do this. You need to stick up for yourself. You need to do this. I couldn't. I just had to be a people pleaser. And it became a mental illness because eventually what happened was I gave so much of myself that eventually I didn't have anything else to give and it turned into anxiety, which is what I currently fight today. And my anxiety is most of the time very well controlled, other times it's not. But my point is mental illness is real and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're crazy or you need a mental assessment or any of that crap that the society says people need. It probably just means that you're exhausted and you need somebody to talk to or you need somebody to understand and to everybody out there that's going through this right now, I understand. I understand that it's exhausting to not be able to please everyone around you all the time and to not be able to get the things that you want out of life because you're too busy chasing someone else's dreams for them or whatever the case may be. 
it's not easy. Mental illness is real and it's not so much something that we need to medicate for. It's something that we need to be there for each other for. It's something that we need to not be embarrassed to speak up about it. I'm mentally ill. I have anxiety. I've fought depression all my life. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that for the rest of my life and you should be too. Thanks guys. Another personal blog from Small and Mighty.